Okay, we're back out here and we got an ungodly amount of rain these past couple of weeks. So you can see I need to fill in some spots. That took a lot of water. So today the plan is to fill that in and then go down the drive and see what all we need to fill in. This first half, I guess, shouldn't be too bad because I did a lot of work last time it rained. Oh, you can get a better view of how the sand kind of fills itself and levels itself out. Check on this. It's holding up fairly well. Hasn't washed out, which is good. Some type of war going on with the bugs right there. So we got our own little waterfall. But I want to work on all this, this half of the driveway today. I want to flatten all this out, get a lot of these weeds killed before they get bigger. Man, this stuff grows so fast. I really just need to run that box blade over it a few times. And it'll smooth itself out. It's really not too bad as it is. Man, there's a lot of deer. A lot of deer tracks. This is pretty muddy. A couple of my buddies drove back here about a week ago. I got a little stuck right here. He's able to get out. He had a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It wasn't too bad. I should be able to come back here today. It's really not wet. I need to fill in this little pond. We don't want a pond here. Maybe someday, but not right here. All right, well, let's get started in filling this all in. This is what a three weeks of hard rain does to these weeds. Look at these. I don't know if you look at some of the other videos, these things are not that big. A lot of these are taller than I am. This stuff just grows so fast. They just take over. Look how tall those things are. Like little mini trees. I was gonna fly the drone, but you know the video isn't complete without some crappy drone footage. But there's crop dusters flying, and they're way too low. See, I can't fly the drone with that thing. Maybe 200 feet off the ground, I can't do that. So we probably won't have any crappy drone footage today.
looks bad now, but once that all dries up, it'll smooth and right up. Let's move on to the next part. I was gonna fill this in, but I don't think I can now. We're taking this guy's home away from him. big. Maybe I'll leave that for a little bit. Let him get some use out of it before I fill it in. There's another hole over there I can fill in real quick. Or at least dump some more dirt in it.
I'm just gonna have to keep going back and forth over this, spreading it out, evening it out. Right now it's still kind of muddy. So I get, I get, I sink in a little bit every once in a while. But once the bottom of that dries out, should be a lot easier next time just to go over it and smooth it out. See, a lot of this is real muddy. Well, I know I've said it before, but that first half is ready for a rock. I don't know why I keep going over it. Look at all that. I don't know if you can see all the way down there. It's all pretty smooth. There's no wet spots there. After all this rain we've had, I was expecting some muddy spots, but there's nothing. So that's working out pretty good. I just need to keep building this up. I think I'm going to go get some more clay and put it right here. Just to build this up. Because you can see some of this. To see the, where the water is running over to that ravine. I need to keep that from eroding this whole hill. So I need to build this up higher and just have it go on each side. I would keep putting this dirt on it, but it's kind of sandy. And I'm scared, especially if a little bit of water's trickling underneath this pipe. Or at least through the rock. I think it might just be coming through that gravel on the sides of it. But it's a little bit. But I'm going to keep dumping dirt on this side. And then over here, I'm going to have to put some more dirt in front of that gravel. Especially on this side here. Just so we can funnel all that water around here, down straight into the pipe. But I've never, I've never been out here when it's raining, and there's uh, hundreds of acres of corn to the northeast of us. And the way I can tell, all of it drains down through this ravine. This ravine goes another. Seven, eight hundred feet up to those cornfields. I guess it's probably longer than that. Anyway, so that pipe should be enough, hopefully. And after years and years, you can see how much I eroded all this. I was all scared. All the water would wash this culvert out real quick, but it hasn't hasn't even put a dent in it yet. So we're good there. I think I might be done for today. I'm just gonna pass over this a couple more times. Just to try to smooth it out before it all dries out. And then later on, we'll work on widening it more. We can do this because it doesn't take much money. All I gotta spend money on is the, the diesel fuel. That's really not even too bad right now. Once I get that end of the driveway done, maybe I can slowly start getting loads of rock, a three inch base rock. And then some landscape fabric to put underneath it. But that's gonna cost a lot of money. And I've been spending a lot of money lately. I just have to keep doing stuff that doesn't cost a lot of money. I think that's going to be up for today.